Now, the Eritrean-Ethiopian War, also known as the Badme War, was a major armed conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea that took place two years beginning May 1998. Lieutenant Colonel Philip Kiprotich Serem was among the United Nations military observers sent from the Kenya Air Force to monitor and verify the cessation of hostilities agreement signed between the two countries. Here is his story on this week's episode of Military Tales. Lieutenant Colonel Philip Kiprotich Serem was already a senior officer when he was nominated by the Kenya Air Force to go on a mission in Ethiopia and Eritrea as a military observer in October of 2002. Ethiopia was never colonized, but Eritrea was an Italian colony. So something happens that they march now and became, became part of Ethiopia. So the Eritreans, they fought, they fought to secede from uh, Ethiopia. And then uh, in, 19, in the, the year 1978, that country, uh, Eritrea, was given independence by the United Nations. And in the year 2000, they went to war. The two countries were eventually separated, and between the border of the two nations was an area demarcated and dubbed the Temporary Security Zone where the troops of the fighting forces were not allowed. As a military observer, you're supposed to monitor the agreement to make sure that there is no violation of the, uh, of the agreement, that no forces have crossed to the temporary security zone. Dire consequences would follow for anyone found in violation of the temporary security zone. Uh, I was in a team site called Omhaja in the southwest of Eridia where one header who was heading his camels and the camels decided to cross you know the border there is no fence in the border and the camels cross over so this young man wanted to go and bring back the the camels the ethiopian forces the who were cutting that border uh, they shoot that that header and it was now the only people who could actually uh, uh, negotiate with the Ethiopians were the military of servers. Fortunately enough, in that particular case, I was on the other side of Eritrea. I remember we went, collected the body, and handed over to the to the relatives for burial. But the camels remained. They did not. Uh, they did not allow us to take the camels. But that was not the end of his encounters. We during our patrol, we located this this uh, bomb on the side of the road. A bomb like that I show you is a bomb that was dropped by an aircraft. It is approximately two, 250 kilogram bomb. And the 250 kilogram bomb is a very big bomb. Landmines were also common in that area. The people there, uh, they don't want you to, to patrol that area because of some activities that they could be doing. So what they do, they lay mines on the road. So even in that team site where I was, we used to operate using two vehicles. So that in case one vehicle is hit by a mine, then the other vehicle will be used to assist to, to recover the, the people who are injured. Upon his return to Kenya, Lieutenant Colonel Serem served in different capacities, rising up the ladder to eventually become the officer in charge of works and maintenance at the Moi Air Base between the years of 2004 and 2009. All the infrastructure, the runway, the hangars, and everything, if, even the, the roads in the base, they are, they, okay, you don't actually carry out because they are normally outsourced, but you are the one who will prepare the procurement the process for those activities to be done. From the year 2009 to 2012, he was deployed to the Kenya Defense Staff Headquarters as a staff officer in charge of career and manpower development. Basically, I was in charge of uh, recruitment of personnel, recruitment of personnel and uh, programming their training. 
Lieutenant Colonel Philip Kiprotich Serem retired from the Kenya Air Force in 2012 after 29 years of service. I want to thank God for giving me the privilege to serve in, that, uh, in the KDF because what I am now is because of KDF. I, the, the land that I own, the house that I stay in, the education of my children, everything about me is, is, is a KDF. Lieutenant Colonel Philip Kiprotich Serem was among the very first beneficiaries of the Tonja rules, which among many other things allowed for military personnel to be able to find housing outside of the military camps. Reporting for KBC from Nairobi County, Amnesty, Emmanuel.